So here's a quick intro to the Gale Science in Context database. If you're at the Northview main page, you can click on Media Center, and then you can click on Search. And the Science in Context database is up here. There is a password required, um, and if you check the lower right-hand corner of your posters throughout the school, you will find that. And here is the main page. Um, there's a lot of great features to Science and Context. First, I'm going to show you the um, Topics feature. So if you click on Browse Topics, you're going to get um, particularly made um, pages for a lot of different subtopics. So if you wanted to look at anorexia, you could start right there. And um, there is a summary at the top of each one a brief table of contents. It kind of shows you all the different types of sources it's going to look at. Their featured content is um, what they select as kind of a great place to start. Um, and then it'll break down different topics. Reference is going to be your definitions and summaries of general knowledge. Um, news is going to be more newspaper-ish current issues. Magazines will be usually science magazines. Um, and then academic journals would be the most complicated scientists talking to scientists. On the sides, you'll have videos and images, also audio, and um, often they link to some really great podcasts from different NPR shows and things like that. Um, also here on the tools page, you can bookmark this page. And it looks like a huge kind of annoying link, but if you wanted, you could copy it. And in another document, you see I made one for um, um, for atomic structure. You can just type in your word and then do um, Control K or use the the link button here and copy and paste that in. And then you'd have a link that you could put on your website for students to go to that page. So it does um, bookmark directly to this page. So you could give them some choice of what they read to begin with. Okay, so that's the bookmark. You can share um, with a lot of different social media. You can email it to yourself, and um, there's a dictionary incorporated as well. You can search within this play page. Um, so let's see, search causes, and it's going to um, select causes within um, anorexia. And this, this is a helpful way to get us to the general search functions as well. So if you did a search up here for anorexia and then searched within that, you would get to a similar page. And you see, again, it breaks down the different types of content here. And you see some other features as well. You can click Save. And it's added to your saved items that you can come back to. And you see your saved items are right here. I really like to use this as I'm just browsing sources to think, oh, okay, I want, I want to come back to this one. I want to come back to this one. I like to collect five to ten sources before I really start reading. Um, another really helpful thing is you can sort by different content, by, by um, different um, search factors. Relevance is the default, um, but you could put it in date order. Document title, I'm not sure if that's alphabetical or what. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, but another useful one is content level. And that's what these colored things are over here. The green, yellow, and then red are going to show advanced, intermediate, and more basic content. So this is really helpful. So if you're starting out just getting to know a topic, look for those green ones to start um, helping you get to understand the topic. Okay. Um, you can also limit your search by more specific subtopics here. And then there are different types of documents, so topic overviews and di disease or disorder overviews here. We're all in reference. So then when you click in magazine, you'll see different types of um, document types, article, brief article, cover story, report. So that can help you um, get different lengths or types of articles. Okay, You can also search by different um, publications themselves. Okay, so those are um, the basics, really, to uh, your Gale Science and Context. Now, once I've saved some things, I might go to uh, Saved Items right here. I can also bookmark 
this page. So I could paste that into my document. Um, I might just call it articles I found Monday or something. Um, so that as I'm doing my research, I can um, I can come back to those to those easily. And um, so that there's the bookmark. You can download them um, to have PDF versions. You can have your citation tools here. <coughs> if you select a particular article, it's going to give you MLA or APA citations right away, including the document URL. So you can put those in your notes. You can export directly to EasyBib, or these other sources are more at the college level. Um, you can email and you can print. So if you check all of them, you could email them all to yourself or print them all to yourself for yourself. Okay, and when you do that, um, you've got all your research in one place.